Hi guys, it's Katie from Creative by Katie. Thanks for joining me today. I have a very fun little DIY project for you today. This is something that I have been seeing pop up um, all over my Facebook feed, which is the super cute little wine cork um, pumpkin. And I thought I'm going to do a little tutorial for you guys today, a video tutorial on how to make that pumpkin. It's very simple, very easy, and it only takes a few supplies that you are probably going to have. Um, you need a few wine corks. This is my stash of wine corks. And don't think that's crazy, it's taken me a long time to save up that many wine corks. So I was saving them because I knew that I would do something with them and I'm happy that I have them for today's project. You're also gonna need a little bit of paint and depending on what color you want your pumpkin to be, I'm just going to be working with this orange paint right here and I have everything linked in the bottom of my video. You're also gonna need a little bit of felt and maybe some twine and your hot glue gun and some scissors to get started on this project. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is paint the ends of your corks. So when you're painting the ends of your corks, you're going to want to make sure that you've got one side that is totally flat so that you're not going to be having to paint over the um, end where you stuck your corkscrew in. So I'm just going to paint the tops of those really quickly. Um, like I said, I'm just using one color of orange paint for mine. I have seen a lot of these done with like different colors of paint, um, like some browns and some rusty colors, and then they're all a little bit different. So however you want it to look to go with your um, decor, that's probably what color you're gonna wanna paint it. I'm just going with orange because it's simple and it'll work in our house. So I'm just gonna get these painted up. All right, so they are mostly dry and we are ready to start gluing together our layers. So I have found that it looks the best if you do um, kind of staggered layers. So I'm gonna start by putting these three together. Like I said, this is a super simple project that your kids and you could do together if you wanted. So there's a layer of three, and then I'm gonna do a layer of four across. All right, so now I have my layers all ready to go, and I'm gonna start with four on the bottom. And then I'm going to add my row of five above that. And I'm going to put some on here too. Just to make sure. I'm kind of a little crazy with the glue sometimes, but I'm okay with that. It's already looking cute. Loving it. Yeah, I'm just going to go crazy with the glue here. I want to make sure that this is not gonna fall apart on me. Whoop, like that. Let's get you on here and scrunch you together. Awesome. And then our final layer. Perfecto. Okay, so for the topper part, I had um, this 
different cork from a different type of wine bottle and I broke it apart and I actually kind of like that the look that that creates kind of makes a little um, makes it a little bit more rustic so this is the one I'm gonna put on the top but before I do that I'm gonna cut a leaf out of this green felt and I'm not gonna do anything um, too fancy I do have you know my big shot or even my cricket or something but you might not so there you go now you have a super fancy little um, leaf that you didn't have to get out another tool to make you can just do it with your hands and your scissors and it was perfect love that and then I'm gonna make sure that I put enough glue on this little guy that it's gonna stay right there it already looks super awesome you guys but I'm just gonna add one more little element and that is some twine and I'm just wrapping it around a couple of times and then I'm not gonna do anything else other than tie it into a knot so this whole project took me well, I'm going to tell you what, it took me longer to gather all of the supplies than it did to put the project together and maybe wait longer, you know, for the paint to dry than anything else. So there is our super cute little wine cork pumpkin. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure that you hit thumbs up. Uh, make sure that you subscribe so that you can get more of my fun crafty videos and make sure you hit that little bell so that you can be notified when my videos are posted. Thanks so much for watching guys. Have a great day.